reading. Now we're going to see the mass balance equation. I told you before it was something about inlet minus outlet plus production and consumption. This is very typical for chemical process, chemical reaction. But this is typical for mass balance in general. It's equal to the accumulation. And accumulation, it's always generally mass over time. So mass is accumulating in time in the system. So we can do, we do actually account how much mass is getting in this time. And what I want to show you here is that we can do it in, well, we can do a mass balance on a species. When I say species, let's say I, I could be any value, could be, I don't know, CO2, could be moles of A. Well, actually just A, could be water, etc. So we could have inlet of water, or I, outlet of I, which is, I don't know, I would choose water in this case. Production of water, if you are having a reaction that produces uh, water, minus consumption of water. I don't know, maybe you have a, another reaction that has consumption. This will give you the water in the system, like how much water is being accumulated in the system. So just get used to that. We're going to see that much further in chemical reactions, but just know that we can do mass balance over species. 